Okay, so for verse and devotion for today, uh, we're going over the next part of 1 John chapter 2, and it is 7 through 11. So, um, let me go ahead and just dive right in, okay? Dear friends, verse 7 of 1 John chapter 2, verse 7. Dear friends, I am not writing you a new command, but an old one, which you have had since the beginning. This old command is the message you have heard. Yet, I am writing you a new command. Its truth is seen in him and you. Because the darkness is passing and the true light is already shining. Okay, verse 9. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates his brother is still in the darkness. Okay. So, think about that. Um, if you hate, hate, I mean, that's a harsh, harsh word. I always tell my boys, we don't, we don't hate anybody but Satan. You don't hate. And if you have hate in your heart for someone, you literally, you can't love God the way that God's supposed to be loved because God doesn't have any hate in him. That's not how it works. So, it says, anyone who claims to be in the light but hates his brother is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother lives in the light, and there is nothing in him to make him stumble. Verse 11, but whoever hates his brother is in the darkness and walks around in the darkness. He does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded him. Okay, what I want you to do, because this is pretty self-explanatory, I, I think. Um, if there's anybody in your life that you would say that you hate, that you wish they were dead or you wish something badly upon them, then you need to get that right with God and you need to get to a point where you can forgive them. Because according to these scriptures, that's not good. Not good for you. And the reality is, it's, it's going to mess you up. And they may not even know that you hate them. <laughs> that's, I hear that all the time. Well, I've had, I got a problem with this person. And that person probably didn't even know. Didn't have a clue. So you're the one holding all the junk. And that's just stupid. You know, let it go. Ask God to forgive you. And the reality is, if you think about it, are you perfect? We just went over this the other day. No, nobody is. Everybody messes up. Everybody has moments where they're not on the top of their game every day. Let it go. Quit hating people. If somebody's a different color than you, who cares? I've never understood that. So what? I'm white. You're brown. You're a little yellowish. Who cares? It's, it's pretty. When you think about it, all the different colors, I think it's kind of cool. Um, hate is wrong. And that's, and again, it says it's an old rule. But yet, here today, we are still struggling with hating our brothers. And this happens in the church, too. In, in the actual congregations, the people inside the four walls of the church. It's ridiculous. Somebody doesn't shake your hand, and so you hold on to a grudge for 30 years. Really? Is that putting anybody in the kingdom? Is that helping anybody out? No. If anything, you've been an instrument for the enemy to work through. Think about that. Because hate is not from God. It says right here, Whoever hates his brother is in the darkness and walks around in the darkness. He does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded him. You've been blinded. Well, hello, it's time to wake up. It's time to come out of the darkness. It's time to forgive and move on and ask Jesus to forgive you. Okay? So that's the, those are the, um, that's the key point today is quit hating and love like God says we're supposed to love because that's what we're supposed to do. Lord Jesus, I ask you right now that you will help those that are having problems with this. Touch their heart and let them see, God, their own faults 
and ask for forgiveness for hating certain individuals or peoples or families or races or whatever it is right now in the name of Jesus and that they will get it straightened out with you, God, and it will change their lives. I pray. Amen.